Continuing to field questions for you, Samili, I have a student from within our Telegram group asking how long it should take him to review an NVMe exam. He's seen, he's seen my videos uh, discussing the importance of reviewing the NVMEs. So he says, how long should it take him to review the 200 questions? I can give you a very solid answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below, and I'll start the clip. So the student asks, how long it should take him to review an NVMe exam to go through the 200 questions? And that is correct. I have uh, inculcated to the point of exhaustion the importance of reviewing NVMe's 20 through 30 for step one as well as for step two, six through 11, and all the clinical mastery series forms. But how long to review the 200 questions? The answer is, Obviously, there's going to be variability depending on how shitty or strong your scores are already. If you're only getting 10 questions wrong on an NVMe exam, you're basically acing it, then it's only going to take you maybe an hour to review. Okay, an hour to review the incorrects, and then all of the correct answers are going to be whipping through. Okay, so it's a sliding scale. For the majority of students I work with who aren't passing and just fighting for that pass, or people who are more borderline, okay, um, I will generally put an NBME over two days of study. Okay, so we have you study the NBME and review it as much as we can over the first day. It's gonna the review is gonna spill into a second day, and then if let's say you finish the review early and you say, well, I had two days to do the NBME, but what do I do now on the second day that I finished the review? The answer is you can go through my high yield PDFs. Okay, you got to know high yield arrows for step one. Many PDFs I have in the different subject areas as well, okay? So you can integrate the PDFs in with the NVMe study. Now, I should also mention, it's a lengthy discussion, but I should also mention that as you're going through the review of the NVMe exam, it's two per day, uh, two days per NVMe on average, you're also gonna make Anki cards of your incorrects. So you're gonna screenshot all of your incorrects as the front card of an Anki, you can also screenshot screenshot them into a Word document, save as a PDF. Uh, some students prefer the PDF style, but I find for many students, you can screenshot them into the front card of an Anki. The back card is just the letter. I don't want you writing explanations. It's a waste of fucking time. You're not going to have that time either. So just the front card is the screenshot. Answer D. Front card is the screenshot of the incorrect. Back card A. Okay. And you're going to review those as you go. So, and you're going to study ahead constantly. So let's say you've done 20, 21, 22, 23, the evening of the 23rd, or after you finish NBME 23, you're going to be reviewing all the incorrects from 20 through 23, okay? So you're going to be having many hundreds of cards as you move through, depending on how shitty your scores are. I've had students whipping through over 600 Anki cards a day of their incorrects because I really push that you need to memorize that content. And I've had students get good results as a, a consequence of really hammering out that material, all right? So uh, to the point of consolidation here is how long should it take you to review the 200 questions? It's going to vary depending on how shitty or strong your scores are. Uh, but for most students, I'll give two days per NBME exam. You know the deal, I'm gonna continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time, that's it.